I don't care if the peanuts get wet, we've got to put them in the dirt. Oh! I've had it! I've got one dry land peanut field left, it's 25 acres, it's right here by the highway, we call it Beavis Highway, and we have a uh, pretty good chance of rain today, so I've got about a maybe four to five hour window, it's going to be close if I can get it all planted before the rain hits, it's kind of nerve wracking because um, our seed tender doesn't have the best heart, so I've got a, tons of peanut seed out here just kind of in the open. I love these tight, tight dirt roads. You have to kind of finagle around to get to these fields and know which roads to take, what mailboxes to dodge. Got Keithy and Kyle up here getting the seed tender moved. And uh, hope we have a good day. And I'm off. Keithy and Kyle's gonna check the seed depth. Move from field to field. I always like to hop out real quick, make sure your seed you know, hasn't done anything crazy with you. For the most part, it stays, what's beeping at me? I don't know. It's monitored every now and then it, it'll beep, but uh, anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, when I change from field to field, I always like to hop out, make sure your seed's uh, where it needs to be. Nine times out of 10 it is, but if you swap, you know, different soils, hard, sandy, clay, obviously that's gonna affect it. So the goal for today is to get this planted before the rain hits. I'm not gonna film a whole lot because uh, that tends to uh, slow me down. Oh, something else is beeping, end of row, not a big deal. But uh, yeah, if you're watching, cross your fingers. Also, comment, like, helps out so much. Comment um, your favorite uh, type of peanut. Do you like spicy peanuts, honey roasted, salt and vinegar, Cajun? I myself am a Cajun bull peanut guy. Peanut patch, bull peanuts. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Keefe just gave me the, yep, and you know when you see the, that means that everything's good to go. It's coming, so we're like right here, it's right getting close. 8.8 .8 acres done, and I did that 8.8, 8.8 8 .8 acres in record time. I usually plant like 5.3, 5.5. Bumped it up to six miles per hour. So hopefully we can we can get it all done in the ground before the rain hits. Got all the cows watching me. They're all laying down. I don't know if that's a good sign. Isn't there a old wife old wives' tale? Is it wives' tale? Like wives, like a woman, like a wife. Uh, anyway, something about like a cow knows when it's gonna rain, so it lays down, or maybe it stands up. I don't know. Maybe it. Any of that could be incorrect. But. <laughs> oh no! Starting to rain a little bit, not too heavy, but still rolling with it. I've got Keefe. He's over there, just hanging out by the seed tender. So in case the bottom, sure enough, falls out, he can haul tail with the seed tender. Hopefully this passes. If I can just fill up one more time, that'll give me enough seed to finish this field out, and we can just take the seed tender, put it in the barn, we'll be safe. Uh, the planters, they have hopper lids, so they're, for the most part, they're safe, but not 100%, but really not too concerned about the seed that I got in the hoppers. Let's see where we're at. Malone, that's where we're at. Goodness gracious. You know, a farmer and the weather really has a love-hate relationship. Without it, it'd be extremely hard to grow a crop. But with it, can also make it extremely hard to grow a crop. Uh, but we need rain. It's welcome. I wish it would just hold off for like two hours, would have it done. But beggars can't be choosers. The Lord knows what's best, so if it rains, you just have to deal with it. And Start back when it dries off. So I guess my theory was correct. 
they're all laying down, just getting wet. Well, there's a couple standing, but I gotta put on the lipers. I regret doing that because now I can't hardly see anything. All right, thankfully the rain has stopped. Sprinkling just a little bit. Keep me left with the sea tender. He should be here any minute, bringing it back. Gonna fill it up, strike out again. That should be enough to finish the field. Tender goes under the shed, we'll be done. Hopefully, that's if everything worked out how I would hope it would work out. I'm out of seed, waiting on Keepy. He should be pulling up any minute now. Where are you, Keepy? This tender should have been here minutes ago. I don't care if the peanuts get wet, we've got to put them in the dirt. Again, I've got 17.41 acres done. There's, I think, about 23 acres in this field, so that's what? Six acres? Six acres left. Looks like the rain is quit for now. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be optimistic. I think we're going to get it done. That was like a NASCAR pit crew changing the uh, seed tender there. We were hauling butt. Had been a record time filling up these hoppers. I was filling the hoppers, keep you doing the seat uh, towel. Kyle closing the hopper lids. Bam, 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 bam. It's not looking good. No! No! It's probably raining harder than it has rained this whole time. So, to that point, you drive a tractor, you know that you have to open the door to really see how heavy it's raining. And I don't know if the video does it justice, but. So, dang it. Guess I'm gonna call it quits, finish this round out. It's uh, sticking to the gauge wheel is pretty good. If it gets too muddy, then your seat gets so shallow. And plus I'm spraying behind the planter. I'm spraying, spraying you know, Prowl, Valor, uh, which you wanna get a, a rain on it, but with it raining super heavy, it's gonna, you know, just wash it right off pretty much. Or I don't think it would, maybe not, but. I think when I get to the other end, this is gonna be it. Which sucks, I'm at 19.36 acres, like three acres left. Well, shucks, at least we got uh, got done what we did. Got the seed tender, it should be under the shed by now, so all that seed's not getting soaked and ruined. So I guess, I'm gonna take this back to the barn. The barn's like maybe three miles. I had to hit the highway for a little bit, hit a dirt road, get it put on the shed, because Got a lot of rain on the way, it's supposed to rain most of the day and then tomorrow, so might as well put the peanut planter in the shed as well. So it's just not out in the weather the whole time. All right, safe travels. of seven it all would have been finished everything would have been planted the tractor would have been under the barn but i didn't i slept till like 6 30 got up real quick brushed my teeth threw on some clothes and headed to the barn hey our neighbor's still rolling Ooh, just saw it lightning Look, I made it here just in time. It's raining pretty good now. I'm not sure what we're gonna get into now. We had some grain bins that we're gonna finish cleaning out, get them ready for the oats that we're gonna cut here about next month, but really can't do that in the rain. So I'm sure I'm gonna tidy up the shop, get her all cleaned up. It's always stuff to do in the shop. Uh, I got the seed tender tucked in nice. 
she is not getting wet. It is coming down. Yeah, you doing all right? Yeah. Your uh, toenail better? Yeah, it's doing a lot better. They gave me some ointment for it. Gave you some ointment? Yeah. Cool. Did it, what toe was it? It was my right big toe. Right big toe? Yeah, I couldn't stand. Yeah. I got bad to walk around. I'm glad to have you back. I talked to you last got my truck cleaned up and it has rained the whole time probably got I don't know maybe a maybe inch inch and a half it really hasn't let up got heavy got a little soft got heavy again well now it is the the next day uh, we got 2.2 inches of rain pretty heavy rain every bottom we've got is filled up here in this uh, cotton field that we just planted so Got more coming uh, Saturday, today's Friday. No clue when this video will come out. I'm pretty far behind. I'm like probably two weeks behind. But uh, yeah, actually worked out pretty good because my family and I, and uh, actually dad, mom, sister, whole crew, um, my oldest daughter's last cheerleading competition is this weekend in uh, Foley, Alabama. So can't work this weekend. So I uh, guess we'll be uh, playing cheer dad this weekend. But anyways, that will be the end of the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching until the end. Thanks for all the comments, likes, shares. Keep it coming. Let's grow this channel. And uh, yeah, Jesus loves you guys. Keep it in the field rows. See you next time. Bye. This is the cheerleader herself. Oh, yeah. Atlin, do a backflip real quick. Do a backflip real quick. Focus down.